Hi everyone, welcome back to Catherine's Plates where right now it is all about bringing delicious foods home for the holidays. We are going to make some scrumptious, delicious desserts and some fabulous meals for the holidays. Today it is all about dessert. Did he just pop up, you guys? Oh my gosh. You know why? I think he heard the bag of pecans being put here. Okay, it's all about chocolate pecan pie. And since he just showed up, I'm gonna put him to work as my sous chef this morning making this pie. You guys, he is a pecan pie fanatic. <laughs> He's like in the bag right now as we speak. Okay, mm. what was one of your favorites? My crock pot rustic pecan pie. Oh yeah, that was really good. Guys, if you haven't seen that one, I will link it down below in the description box. I mean, if you want to throw a pecan pie mixture into your crock pot on Thanksgiving so that you don't have to like hog the oven with that, go right ahead. Okay, but today we are putting chocolate into a pecan pie because he's here for it. Let's go ahead and get started. Darn too. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with a large bowl and we're going to make the inside mixture for our chocolate pecan pie. So, <laughs> he's going to add one cup of granulated white sugar to the large bowl here. While he's getting that going, I'm going to open up our chocolate. This is only a one third cup. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so this is unsweetened cocoa, and we're going to put one-third of this into there. Y'all, be careful with this stuff. It'll go everywhere. Yeah, don't sneeze. I've had experience with that. Not the sneezing, but the <laughs> it going everywhere. All right, one-third. I'm going to pack it down a little bit. Perfect. All right, so you're going to add that to your large bowl with your white sugar, and then you're going to whisk that together. Okay, that's good enough right there. All right, so in a small bowl, we're going to add our three eggs, and we're just going to lightly whisk them up. All right, I'm going to have my husband beat these up. Because they've been bad. Just lightly beat them, y'all. We just want to break the yolks into the whites there. We don't want to froth them up or anything. All right, we're going to go ahead now and pour that into our mixture here. We're going to add one tablespoon of melted butter. Still warm. Still warm. And then we've got some vanilla here. We're going to add one teaspoon. Now we've got some corn syrup. Now, when we make pecan pies, we like the dark corn syrup. You can use the light corn syrup if you'd like, but my husband likes the dark corn syrup. We're going to go ahead now and add three quarters cup. There's <laughs> one, one, two, that's the three. three. Now what you want to do is just combine this all together using a whisk until it's nice and smooth. And put him to work. Alright. Good enough. His favorite part. We are going to use these pecan halves right here. Now you can use crushed pecans or pecan pieces, but we're going to be using these right here, these halves. This is 10 ounce bag, so we're going to go ahead and put all of these in there. All right, you ready? Yep. All right, so we're just going to add these, and then we're going to mix these until they're all nice and coated. You didn't oh, save me one? I didn't save them any. <laughs> <laughs> the whole bag went in there. That's just not fair. <laughs> now we got to go back to the store, because I want some pecan. <laughs> yeah, this is going to take a while, you guys, in the oven. There. All right, what we're gonna do now is take this, set it aside, and we're gonna bring over our pie dish and our pie dough. Okay, 
Okay. <laughs> My husband's gonna have fun with this one. Okay, this is refrigerated pie crust that you're gonna put into your baking pie dish here. Now, you can make your own pie crust if you'd like, or you can use this one right here. Now, they also have the frozen pie crust that you can use. It comes in the little metal little pans, but you know what, guys? It's the fall, it's the holidays. Jazz it up. Use your pretty pie plates here. So it comes like this, and you wanna pull this out of your refrigerator about 10 minutes before you wanna use it. No longer than that, because then it'll kinda of stick together. But you want it nice and softened so that you can get it out and unroll it. All right, I'm gonna start this. Just be very careful. Well, it's a good thing you started it. <laughs> I'd have done ripped it. All right, so just lay it on your pie plate there and continue to unroll to the other side. And then you want to push it in all the way down to the bottom. What do you do with the sides? Well, you kind of put your finger right there and crimp. Well, that's just weird. To make it look. Oh, to make it give it that crusty thing? Yep. Yeah. Give it a nice little look there. Good thing you got little fingers. <laughs> Okay guys, what are you thinking about chocolate pecan pie? I'm down. He's down. Of course, you had me at chocolate. So. I did. <laughs> That's why he was in the kitchen. He's like, what is going on? And I want to be a part of it. What's your favorite dessert for Thanksgiving? We like the traditional pies. We like the chocolate pies. And that's where this one came about. There we go. Doesn't that look nice? Okay, so I'm going to have my husband bring over the mixture and we're going to pour it in all right go ahead oh my gosh does that look scrumptious or what you guys we're starting the holidays early mm -hmm. we're doing the holidays twice gonna start eating for the holidays early <laughs> as jacked up as this year has been Y'all deserve it. Start early. Make you a delicious chocolate pecan pie right here. All right, we're gonna smooth it out. Okay, we're placing this in our oven that's been preheated at 350 degrees for about 55 minutes. You want to make sure that when you jiggle it a little bit, that center is not moving, okay? We want it set before we pull it out. Now, check your pie crust, you know, about halfway through, you know, a little bit more than that. Make sure that it's not getting too dark, okay? If it is, you can put some tin foil around the edges here. We're going to keep an eye on ours, too. Okay, guys, we're going to be back. Okay, look at this scrumptious pie right here. We just pulled it out of the oven, and what you want to do at this point is just cool it down completely. Now, that way when you slice it, your filling isn't running everywhere. Now, about 15 to 20 minutes before the pie was ready to come out of the oven, the crust on the top here was looking really nice and golden brown. So what I did was I just took some tin foil, made a ring of it, and put it around the crust. That way it would stop browning on the outside here. Now, I did have a pie ring, but I'm really not sure what happened to that. But this worked just as well as you can see here. Okay, guys, when we are ready to cut into this, you're going to see Thomas try this. Got that right. <laughs> okay, so this isn't Thomas's first chocolate pecan pie, but this is the first new recipe that we've done. So we're going to compare and let him tell us what he thinks of this one compared to the ones he's had before. Okay, we're gonna get Thomas involved now and see if that lives up to a chocolate pecan pie and it's better than what he's had before. <laughs> That's what's left. <laughs> 
Okay, guys. Ready whip. <laughs> Need some right now, I'm kidding. <laughs> no. Oh, smells amazing. Scrumptious. Oh my god. That well, is so freaking good. Got your coffee ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was making coffee earlier. <laughs> I'm gonna need a chair. <laughs> That is good. Is this better than any other chocolate pecan yeah. pie you've had? It is. It smells amazing. I think the other ones I had had chocolate chips in them. You can make it that way. You can leave out the Hershey's chocolate and add chocolate chips to it, but... Don't. It's really good mixed in. This is way better. Okay, guys, tell me what you think. Give me a thumbs up on this one. Mm -hmm. Comment down below what your favorite pecan pie is. This was so easy, y'all. Go ch check it out. Okay, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Y'all remember this is kind of a it's y'all fall. It's y'all fall. It's fall, y'all, a series and holidays. Now it's all kind of running into each other. Mm -hmm. All right. We will see you on my next episode. Bye.